So how do we change the world? Take responsibility, feel empowered, feel inspired. <clears throat> how I, I'm absolutely 100% convinced that the way that the ripple effect, the domino stones are already in place, okay? The whole plan is already in place. This planet can change within two years completely, even faster. But I'm talking, when I say two years, I don't mean energetically. It can change energetically within a couple of hours. But it can change instantly, logistically, infrastructure-wise, clean waters, all that stuff within a time frame of two years. It's already in place. Systems are in place. Good to go. What are we waiting for? Inspiration. Inspiration. Inspiration is what will flick off that first domino stone and kickstart the process. As soon as that happens, you can set your clocks to a two-year counter. My promise to you, two years from that date, the world will completely have changed. As one of my main teachers, I might say, I don't really call anyone my teacher, but I would call this consciousness one of my teachers, one of my main influences. Um, as Ra says in one of his transmissions to a questioner about, is it possible to change the world overnight? Something along those lines. And I'm paraphrasing his answer here, but it was along the lines of, it is unlikely, but it is ever possible that humanity can unite itself in a single moment of inspiration. And there's nothing else we have to do. Although your inspiration, you might be that person. It's one of us. Might as well be you. More accurately, it is all of us. But in very direct ways, it might very much look like you're the one starting that whole process, that snowballing effect. It can happen in so many ways. It can be either one of you, any one of you can be the ones to actually flip over that first stone that sets that whole process, which is already set, in motion. We don't need to figure out ways to change the world, not really. Not that you shouldn't be inspired about that, that not that you shouldn't look into that or work on that if that excites you, but it's already, it's already available. Everything we need to make this planet a happy, abundant planet for every single inhabitant is already in place. We've just got to connect the right people with the right people. That's what we're going to do. And how are we going to do that? Inspiration. We need to inspire the people. Because you see, these events will not occur. These connections, these important connections, these magical, synchronistic connections will not be allowed to occur by the vibration of our collective if people have not reached a certain level of inspiration, of being tapped into their non-physical selves. Whether they call it that or not, doesn't matter. So inspire, inspire wherever you go. Give wherever you go. Be that enigma wherever you go. It doesn't always have to look in a certain way. It can look like many things. But be that person. Be the brightest, first for yourself, and then naturally it will spill out onto everyone else. And the effects of that are immense. You cannot even... You can't see the effects. So people often, people are often creating so much benefit in a single moment or a single dialogue and they judge themselves right after for saying something in a shitty way. And they don't see the light that they admitted. They don't see the blueprints that they've changed. All they see is what they physically see and then they base their sense of worth off of what they physically see they've done and they feel like failures. Such a shame. Such a shame, because it was such a beautiful doorway into an even bigger light emanating from your heart into the underlying template reality of our collective. Changing things rapidly. Believe in yourself. Doesn't matter how you say certain things. Doesn't matter mean how you, doesn't matter how you do certain things. Just come from a place of inspiration and whatever you say will be perfect. Whatever you do will have effects beyond your comprehension. I see it every time. I see it. You can start to see it too. And I'm only be starting to see the beginnings of that myself too. There's so many ripple effects that every single thought does. It's crazy. You can have a single thought of inspiration right now that quite literally could be responsible for changing the world. Are you waiting for a Nikola Tesla to be reborn somewhere? You might be it. He was just another dude. He was just another wanderer like so many of you. Positively oriented. He was convinced that he could do things. So he could. He was convinced he could know things, so he did. He was convinced he could see things, so he did. It is whatever you say it is. Be confident, do not be afraid of your ego. Own your shit, own your power, own your awesomeness. 
own the fact that you stand out from everyone else in at least one regard. Otherwise, she wouldn't exist, because then you'd be like everyone else. And creation does not create anything redundant or already done before. So at least in one profound way that can be of service to you and the entirety of this planet and all the beings on it and all the infrastructure on it and all the societies on it, at least in one way you are profoundly more proficient than every single other being on this planet. And for some people that's in two ways. For some people that's in three ways. And for some people that's in subtle ways. They're at the highest echelon, in the highest echelon of that field. You are a very skilled person. You are an extremely gifted being. Again, otherwise you would not have been created. Completion is complete because you are here. It would not be complete without you here. Does that make sense? Do you feel that? Do you know that? Do you know that? Do you know that? Do you know that? Do you? Are you lying? Do you know that? In this moment, Good, carry this with you into the next universe. So come together frequently with people that inspire you. Stay inspired. This is the only form of situational control that I teach. Make sure you're surrounded by an inspirational environment. Meaning, if you don't like your job, figure out something else. If you don't like the location that you're living in, the city that you're living in, get out of there. If you don't like the friends that you're having, say thank you, bye-bye. If you don't like the lack of perhaps some kind of spiritual teaching in your life physically present, seek it out or create it with a community. But come together so that you are frequently reminded and inspired. Don't like your state of being even though you live in the place you want to live and you have access to friends right around the corner that you like? Watch one of my videos or any other video that inspires you that bumps your frequency up again to being in alignment. It's the greatest gift you can give to yourself is to just hit play on that video, especially when you're not feeling like doing that. Hit the play button. Be in your mood. It's fine. Just leave it on for 30 minutes. You'll be a changed man or woman after 30 minutes. It's because this is easy for you. And the easier this becomes, the more powerful you become, the more bipolar you become. And the more bipolar you become, the more you can go up and down in an instant. That's why what you need is education, reminders. This is the only form of situational control that I teach. Surround yourself with inspiration as often as you can, because you're fighting an uphill battle if you don't. You're fighting the uphill battle of the collective automatic consciousness momentum. While you are one of those that are trying to break out of that so that you from being outside of it, can shepherd people in. You are shepherds, or shepherds in the making. Shepherding consciousness is one of the most unspoken of gems in our society. And I'm going to bring a lot of light to that. I did in the private retreat that we had last week, a little bit. But I'm going to bring more light to that um, more publicly in the Mount Madonna retreat. And for those that are not physically there, uh, you can watch it online. It might not be live streamed, but it will be recorded. And then you can find it in trinfinityacademy.com and in the library. Shepherding consciousness is what we're all growing into. Those that are ready past a certain point, those that have worked on themselves past a certain point, those that have reached a certain vibrational stability within themselves, and this might, in fact, I can state for sure, this is not all of you yet, and that's okay. But gradually this might become relevant for you. You will start to grow into what I call shepherding consciousness. It is a self-personal transcendent consciousness that is of service, that finds its well-being in being of service. So now your, what your sense of well-being is placed in and derived from, from the things that you do in your life, or the relationships that you have perhaps, or the things that you're accumulating, or the things that you're doing, those will still give you joy. Those will still be a reflection of who you are, obviously, even more so. But you will also step it up a notch in terms of who you are. Your sense of identity now becomes the group that you're with. And on a more abstract level, it becomes the collective that you're a part of. In many ways, you become a mirror of humanity. And in a more immediate, practical, day-to-day, -day, effective, tangible way, you're becoming a mirror of the subcollective that you're immediately a part of. Because that's what you're most visibly a part of. So, for those of you that are starting to feel these callings, this might be an interesting concept to ponder. 
shepherding consciousness. Even while that's not relevant yet for you, what is relevant is that you're a shepherd of your own vibration. So how do you feel right now? And how do you feel right now? The most efficient way to make change in an environment is to... Thank you. Change your frequency. When you change your frequency, everything around you, like the domino stones, will just fall. It will change. The funnest parts, the funnest moments are when you're in a situation that from a linear point of view, you see no fucking way out. You're just stuck. There's no way this person's ever going to perceive you differently, or there's no way that you're ever going to achieve what you want to achieve. There's just only obstacle. And all that's changing is a single thought in your brain, not really in your brain, in your consciousness. An inspired thought that says, hey, wait a second. It might be something like, I remember Bentinho said once, that stuck with me, everything is possible. Now, if everything is possible, that means this is all horseshit. This is all smoke and mirrors. And even by having a thought like that and not even really knowing how you've changed your frequency, suddenly this person will tell you something else. Suddenly the doors open. Suddenly everything seems to already have been achieved. You were simply misinformed. You get another phone call. Oh, sorry, we had wrong information. Oh, okay. You're never stuck. You're only a single inspired thought away from victory. You're only ever a single inspired thought away from your next victory, from your next accomplishment, from your next acceleration point. And without any situational control, without any trying or fighting, without any trend, sense of disempowerment left in that moment, the whole time-space scenario changes in accordance with your new vibration. Now, isn't that magical? No, it's normal. It's ordinary. It's how life operates all the time. It's always a reflection of what you believe is possible. So stop feeling disempowered and looking at your situation. Start looking for the best feeling experience you have access to right now. The most empowering thought you can be thinking right now. Even if it just starts to soften your resistance, even if all you feel is a little bit of relief, that's the direction to go in. Again, like Abraham says, don't seek for solutions, seek for relief. Don't seek for the answers. Seek for relief, because in relief, you will be able to balance yourself again, be in alignment again, raise your frequency, and from that, all solutions are effortlessly available to you, and most of them don't even need to be pondered. They just happen because you're radiating that vibration. They don't even need to be acted on anymore. Some might, some might not, many might not. So, if we want to free this world from its present, seemingly present, power structures, money structures, petrol dollar structures, oil, gas, coal, pollution structures. And if we want to move into a planet where everyone is empowered, everyone is their own president, president of their own existence, president of their own life, responsible for their own world, where we are living on completely free energy devices, both in our vehicles as well as our houses and homes, where nobody pays any electricity, nobody needs to use any electricity. It is all self-generated out of the vacuum, seeming vacuum. These things are available. Like I said, a whole network is in place. All it's waiting for is the proper level of inspiration collectively. And it will happen. It will fall. It doesn't take a lot of effort. It just takes a lot of inspiration. That's the good thing about being human. You can always do something to inspire someone else. And the effects always, always surpass your expectations and what you see actually occurred. The effects always go way beyond just that one-on-one -on -one interaction you might be having. Way beyond. With every single word you utter, you influence millions. So be mindful of what you say, what you think, how you feel, and how you want to be. Become pristine. Become precise. Become crystallized. Become the diamond that you want to be. Pressure yourself. Take all this mess, take all this bigness, all this complexity of being human, and make it more and more, and more specific, and more specific, and more specific, and more specific, and more specific. Till vibrationally, you are so precise, yet open-hearted. You are so specific, yet all is possible. That all of that energy that you are is now condensed into such a precise, laser-like light that the effects that you have wherever you go are what the fuck? Question mark above your head to everyone else that perceives you all the time. Now, this might be annoying at first. Watch my Mount Madonna retreat. I'll tell you to handle being a shepherd 
and being projected on a lot. It's part of it's part of the experience. But that's good. It's what you want. It's what helps you become even more precise and specific. Okay? It's what helps you be even more aligned with being of service to this collective. Because make no mistake, that's why you're here. Okay? You're not just here for your personal life. You're just not. As much as you'd like to believe that, as much as that seems the easier way out, it's actually the more difficult way out. How many times when you feel depressed and stuck, it's because you've been overly focused on a detail in your life that has no significance in the broader picture to anyone else. You've become narrow-minded. As soon as you tap back into spirit, tap back into the light, tap back into your service, tap back into why you're here, tap back into your ability to serve and give other people, realize that others feel the way you do, struggle with the same things you do, and you being able to see that puts you in the responsibility seat and the honorable seat of being able to help out, being able to send love, being able to radiate kindness or honesty or precision or reflection or encouragement. And immediately, as soon as you step it up again, as soon as you're again in alignment with why you are here and being of service, the light can flow through you again. You're not clogged up. You're not polluting your river into a dead little pond. It starts to flow. There cannot be any buildup of resistance in flow. And you know you've had a really good day when in every scenario you've been in, you were the most confident person in that room. There was no doubt doesn't mean there was no openness, because that's part of your doubtlessness. It's to be absolutely open and honest with yourself. But that's what makes you feel so confident. When you walk out of a scenario having completely honored your integrity, not just pretended that you were confident and you knew it all, but you actually observed, you actually witnessed with stillness what went on in yourself, and you actually resolved the vibrational misalignments. You thanked the scenario, you felt powerful, you knew who you are, you know who you are, you know what you desire, and simultaneously there's a total open-heartedness about you as well. If you can walk into every scenario and walk out in that way, you've had a good day. When you feel under pressure, when you feel overpowered, when you feel overwhelmed, that's quite all right. But make sure that you haven't lost yourself along the way, because that's often why you feel that way. You've lost sight of who am I, what do I desire? What gives me the greatest amount of joy? Why am I here? What does my service look like? How do I want to be of service? What do I want to prioritize? When you prioritize what is most important to you in your life, nothing can make you wobble. Nothing can make you waver. And if it does, it's noticed immediately. And it's very quickly dealt with. So that by the time you walk out of that room, you're once again the most confident person in that scenario. And of course, this is just a metaphor. Don't go gauge who's the most confident person in the room. So it's just a way of checking in with yourself. Do I feel like I'm walking out of there like a king? Do I walk out of there proud of myself, in alignment, with an integrity, having done the right thing, feeling good about myself on all levels, having honored both who I am as well as who they were, having honored my free will as well as their free will, and maybe even having encouraged a few people along the way? That's a good day. Create more of these. Because those are good days. And good days lead to even better days. And bad days lead to worse. So as soon as you have a bad day, step back. Do whatever you can to find relief. And let the relief kickstart you again in the direction of inspiration in your own way, connected to your purpose. So that the bad day turns into a good day again, and the good day turns into a better day. Before you know it, you'll have so many best days ever that it becomes hard to keep track of. And when you think it can't get any better than that, that's exactly when it gets better. Dude, this is the best achievement ever. This is the best creation. And then there's that. What? How the fuck did that happen?